Hey friends, today I am in Claremont, Florida, right outside Walt Disney World, and we're gonna take a tour of the Ever After Estate. This place is the most amazing home I have ever seen. Let's go do this. Some fun facts about this amazing dwelling. 12 bedrooms, three different buildings, nine bathrooms, sleeps up to 40 people on a 62 acre private island of paradise. Unbelievable. Every bedroom and bathroom and nook and cranny is themed to some of the most amazing concepts ever. They have a Rocky Balboa room, a Star Wars, a Harry Potter. So much is going on in here. I am absolutely in love with it. So we're going to check them all out and I just can't wait to show you. And we're going to dive right in here. Look at this place. <sighs> The hallway is just lined with amazing movie pictures. The bedrooms in here are unbelievably themed. The first bedroom I gotta show you is gonna be the Star Wars themed bedroom. Look at this room. Oh, unbelievable. C3PO, this is actually a bunk bed. You can actually climb up in here. You get the bottom bed and then the top. Look at Carbon Han Solo. R2-D2 in the corner. This is unbelievable. And the lights on the ceiling are lightsabers. Look at the carpeting. All themed. Like I said, they spare no expense when it comes to making these rooms. And I especially love how we go from Star Wars to right up these stairs to one of my favorite Disney World attractions, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Oh, this is amazing. And it's actually a game. And like I said, this is actually a game because you have to find all of the little Z's for Zor in the Planet Princess room next door because they have a mural that is gonna blow your mind. I can seriously hang out in this room all day long. That's how much I love it in here. Right next to the Buzz Lightyear room is where the mural is that you have to find the Z's. And I think you see where we're going with this. Oh boy. It is a mural of everything theme park in Central Florida, SeaWorld, Mount Everest, Spaceship Earth, Hollywood Studios hat, Magic Kingdom, Universal Globe. This is unbelievable. Wow, even a ski ball machine. Oh, I don't even know what to say about this. So much beautiful artwork in this whole entire room. It just blows my mind away. Aladdin and Jasmine, and it all leads to the happy landing slide right here. And I think Zerg actually went this way. I don't know where it's gonna take us, but we're gonna find out. I'm only doing this for the video. <laughs> holy moly, that's quick. We have made it down to the Marvel in DC ball pit bedroom. Look at this amazing room. There are like 26,000 balls in here. It's like up to my knees and the slide literally whipped me out of there. Unbelievable. I am so blown away. That's a rock climbing wall. And take a look at the beds are actually suspended. It's like a bunk bed, but above a ball pit with Spidey. <laughs> Everyone loves the pits. Once we climb out of the ball pit room, it takes us right back into the hallway where we first began. And in this hallway has one of the coolest things I probably have seen in any of these homes that I've actually been to. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror mural. Look at that. Oh, with an ET tie-in. Mind blown, holy moly. That is amazing, wow. 
this whole entire hallway is just mind-blowing like I said and of course with all these movie pictures there ought to be a movie theater right outside the movie theater we have these amazing little concession murals and then when we get inside if you notice or actually are a fan of Mickey's Philhar magic it, it looks just like that in here how amazing right this is a gorgeous movie theater with comfy recliners. I could probably sit in here all day. I'm just waiting for Donald Duck to come flying out at me. In the previous homes that we went to, you notice that they had the Jumanji themed movie theaters. I like this one because it's just a classic. I like it. It's like a really cool nifty theater. And of course, every single movie theater has to have a little game room area, but it leads us into our next little area that I absolutely love. And like I said, there was multiple different themings in this whole entire facility. And if you're a Disney fan, you might be a little familiar with some of these rooms because they're from an iconic attraction that no longer exists. Well, howdy partner, the John Wayne themed bedroom. Look at this. I know I keep saying that, but holy moly, unbelievable. The detail, that's a bathroom? They have bathrooms with saloon doors? What? This is pretty spectacular here, guys. I've never seen a themed bathroom like this before. This is great. Let me know in the comments after seeing the John Wayne room what attraction you think I'm talking about when you see the other bedrooms it might come a little bit more clearer. But like I said, wow, this is amazing. That mural right there is unbelievable. Right above the bed. And right next to John Wayne, we got the Tarzan room. Look at this beautiful tiger. Holy moly, the legend of Tarzan. This is, oh, look at that mural. Wow, I'm sorry. Sometimes I don't notice things and then they get me caught off guard right on film. Look at all of the green leaves up in the ceiling, above the closet. This is really good theming right here. I can just picture a stiff Tarzan swinging across the room right now. Oh! That was probably not my greatest Tarzan impression right there. <laughs> As we move down a little bit, Origin of the Mummy. Wow. Holy moly. This is a glorious room, actually. I love all the gold and the artifacts. Everything is just themed so perfectly. I'm pretty sure there's a warning somewhere on here not to touch the hidden jewel or you'll know what'll happen. Look at that bedspread. This is a really cool themed room. Even the chair. I'm a little mind blown and definitely impressed. And in the corner of the room, this is actually a little storage unit. That is really nifty, isn't it? I hope you guys got the reference there. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you did because I think that's pretty, pretty amazing. And then we have the Academy Award dressing room right here. And this is like a master bathroom. Look at that shower area. Nice jacuzzi tub. This is a classy, classy bathroom. <laughs> I'm still a little shocked and there's still a lot more rooms we have to get to. I don't know what to think that my favorite one is. You know how I always ask you guys what the favorite room is? But so far, they're all pretty impressive and we didn't even get to the best ones yet from what I can tell. The next room is definitely a pretty nifty room because it is the James Bond room. Look at this, this is really classy and elegant. Just like James Bond would be. Picture of the man himself right there. And we're going to actually explore around the room a little bit. It's got a nice little desk area over there. Some more James Bond artwork. This is really classy. <laughs> I know I said that before, but pretty amazing. 
Look at the little coasters. And of course, it being a James Bond room, there's got to be a little spy tie-in, you know, like a secret room or a trap door or something like that. And I'm looking right at it. <laughs> oh, I mean, I was told there was a secret room. So immediately I started pulling down my books to see if like the bookcase would open up or, you know, moving certain things. And uh, yeah, it's right here. And what it leads into, or what it turns into, is a kind of a shocker, but... <laughs> Rocky Balboa! The gym bedroom that is actually a gym bedroom! That's a bed! Wow! Seriously, that is so awesome. Look at the boxing trunks, the Philadelphia art, Rocky himself, the murals. This is an awesome bedroom. I don't know why, like it just kind of gets to me a little bit because I was such a big Rocky fan. And plus you can work out actually in here. It's like a fully functional gym slash bedroom. It's mind blowing, isn't it? Sorry, but I need to ring that bell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The next room is the next door down, and it's kind of crazy how we went from James Bond to Rocky to probably this next room, which is going to throw a curveball at you. And we're going to go right in that door right now. And inside is one of the most beautiful bedrooms I have ever seen. It is called the BR Guest Suite. Everything in this room just gives me the feels. It is so beautiful. Look at the carpets, the custom murals, Luminaire, all on all these posts right here. Unbelievable, isn't it? This is so breathtaking. B. Ah, guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. Unbelievable. Wow, mind blown. Look at how they keep the scrim going. Luminaire on all of the posts. I absolutely love this room. This is so amazing. Every single piece is just detailed. Custom murals. Even the light switches look like they belong. It's just a detailed room. Oh, look at little Chip. This is really something else. And now that we've actually went through all the rooms in this building, we're going to walk over to the next building that has some more amazingly themed bedrooms and everything in between. And when I mean everything in between, all of the cool stuff that's in between this building and that building is mind boggling. We have a carousel, which is actually one of three carousels that's actually scattered on this 62 acre island. And then so much more in between this building and the next building. But we're starting to get a little storm, so we might need to hurry up a little bit. Oh, it's definitely gonna rain here. And like I said, we're on an island. We are completely surrounded by water. And how about its own miniature golf course? Look at that. All the cool animals that's actually on the golf course itself. It's kind of Indian tribe themed. That's pretty amazing. Soon as we get over to the main building, you have the whole entire pool area. But this pool area is not just a regular pool area. It's themed a Jurassic Park pool area. How nifty is that? We made it just in time and avoided the rain but I'm gonna risk it all just so I can show you some of the cool things in the pool area. That's why I got my trusty hat. Look at this. We got some dinosaurs, and then right over here, a water slide, and you can see the mud slide. So amazing. I love this little lagoon style pool, including all of the beware of dinosaur signs they have hanging here, and the electric fence signs. What a nice touch, isn't it? I didn't get that wet at all. Actually, I'm still a little bit dry. Now we're gonna actually come in the bottom floor of the other house, and this leads into a whole bunch of other amazing things. 
And as soon as we walk in from outside, we have kind of another movie theater living room area with its own game room. Of course, a lot of amazing Star Wars posters and even a Star Wars old arcade machine right over here, as you can hear it. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? This own Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. Star Wars Weekends at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> Thank you. A sweet air hockey table right here and its own little bathroom. I like that restroom sign. And it's got such a classic movie themed bathroom. That's amazing. Look at all the classic films going around. Nice little stand up shower. I don't know what that guy's doing though. And tonight's feature is Finding Nemo. Isn't that neat? They have thousands of DVDs and digital movies, your own popcorn machine, and then it leads into the next set of really nifty bedrooms. And one of my personal favorites, the Harry Potter room. Look at this. I like this because this has a little personal touch that actually comes along with the owner of the home. But wow. This is really nifty. You guys have probably seen my Harry Potter Airbnb house. This would fit in perfect there. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Look at the broom up there. It's actually moving because the AC is blowing it, so it looks like it's just floating. This is such a cool little room. I like how they have everything in this house. Like we have Star Wars, we have Marvel, we have Harry Potter. So many different amazing concepts. Like I said before, it just kind of embraces the best of pop culture and puts it in a home for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> and then right next door to the Harry Potter room, we have the music studio bedroom with its own stage and karaoke machine. That is amazing. Look at it. This is like an actual like performing area. I feel like I'm in a lounge. Fans are cheering you on with a nice mural. And then of course all these lights. I thought this was a disco ball. But this is like way more than that. There are so many different lights in here. Including that big street light. Which kind of gives it that nightclub vibe. And a nice set of bunk beds. Like I said, it's just absolutely mind-blowing how they incorporated all of these great concepts. So, oh, thank you, Star Wars music. <laughs> we'll make our way upstairs because up here they have a beautiful kitchen. Look at this kitchen. Eat, pray, love. Unbelievable, isn't it? The mural, the floor. I can't get over it. This is really beautiful. Leads right into an open living room. And the view from the porch right outside is spectacular. As you can see, we have another merry-go-round and then the water that's surrounding the whole island. Look at this porch. When we take a look inside the living room, look at that. This is unbelievable. The porches that wrap around the whole entire house is breathtaking. And it even says the Ever After stay right on the fireplace. Oh, a fortune teller machine? You know, I love these. Like I said, I love fortune teller machines. And also, just look at the murals that they have here. This is breathtaking because you can see a little bit of Epcot, a little bit of Cinderella's castle. Just a wonderful themed living room, including your own press penny from the Ever After Estate. I think that's awesome. You can get your own press penny here. On the top floor, they also have the master bedroom and bathroom that's not really themed too much, but it's just elegant, and that's what I like. This is the master bedroom, kind of themed beachy, kind of floridy. And I can't get over how nice it's in here. The Ever After Estate got a beautiful view of the merry-go-round in the lake. I just love it. This is a wonderful bedroom. Oh, look over in the corner here. We've got all of the classic opening Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom. That's amazing. And then the bathroom has a huge jacuzzi tub with the stand-up shower and then the top 
of the water slide that goes down into the Jurassic Park pool. Amazing. Off to the side of the living room, we have a little game room with a nice jukebox, some Pac-Man games, and then your own little billiard section. I like this a lot. It's really nifty in here, isn't it? Kind of classic, very classic, and the walls are just beautifully painted. Can you imagine just sitting here playing Pac-Man and staring out, maybe watching a sunrise or a sunset? It's got to be gorgeous. Now that the rain has actually stopped, I want to actually show you a little bit of the outside and what I was talking about as it being an island on its own because that's like one of the coolest parts about this property, I have to say. Just so much area, 62 acres. I drove back down the driveway just to show you guys a kind of overview of, like I said, how huge and massive this place is. This way, you would actually go to the guest house that had all the cool themed bedrooms and including the Rocky Balboa gym and then the office and everything like that. And then on this side is the main house and just seriously surround it by water from one side all the way to the other. It's just amazing. Like it's your own little paradise here or better yet it's like your own ever after isn't it amazing wow let me know in the comments what your favorite room was how much you actually love this resort resort this is a home <laughs> that's how amazing it is and that's gonna do it for me i'm like speechless because this place was hands down the best house that I've actually ever visited. And I've been to a lot of them. The Harry Potter home, the Star Wars home, the board game, the, the candy home. This is hands down the best one I've ever been to. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.